a development tonight after a shooting at Target. Evidently, a planned sting went south for three Vanderbilt football players. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis found out they took the law into their own hands. Carrie, thankfully, the teens who were shot are expected to make a full recovery, but this could have ended badly. And one local firearms expert says these football players are even lucky to be alive. It was a planned sting that wasn't completely thought out and a plan that didn't involve law enforcement. According to police, 19-year-old Donovan Tennyson, 18-year-old Omonte Daly, and 18-year-old Frank Coppett as seen here from Vanderbilt University's football website, are dealing with the aftermath of taking the law into their own hands. Real or toy? A decision one local firearms expert says could have ended with their lives. What's the old saying? You, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Well, they're lucky all they got was a stupid prize out of this instead of a death prize. We're told Tennyson's phone was stolen and the teen saw it for sale online. That's when he and his teammates devised a plan to create a fake account and take his stolen property back in the parking lot of a West Nashville target. We're told the teens got out of their vehicle with a pellet gun and the seller and his friend were armed with a real pistol and a shotgun. You know, the old saying is you don't bring a toy gun to a real gunfight. And that's exactly what happened here. Coppett and Tennyson were both shot but are expected to make a full recovery and police are hoping next time there's trouble, the teens call them instead of taking matters into their own hands. I mean, you don't know who you're confronting. Let the police handle it. That's how simple it is. Just let the police handle the situation, period. Officials at Vanderbilt University say they are monitoring the situation and will determine if the school will take action against the teens. Now, police are still on the lookout for the gunman. If you have any information that could help detectives in this case, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers at 615-74-CRIME. For now, we are live in West Nashville. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. Thank